hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created get employee api by the id in spring boot application and in today's video we will create update user page and we will call this get employee by id api from that page in our react application so let's get started so first of all we need to create the update user component and to do that we will right click on the employee folder and we will create a new file and we will name this file as update user dot js and after this we need to create the css file so we will right click again on the employees folder and we will create a new file and we will name this file as update user dot css and after this let's open our update user dot js file and let's write the constant keyword and the function name will be update user and this will be an arrow function and in this let's write a return statement and let's return a div tag and in this div let's write update user is working and at the end we need to export this component so we will write export statement here and we will mention default keyword and we need to export update user and after this we need to import the update user css so we will write import statement here and here we need to give the path which is dot forward slash update user dot css and that's it for now in this update user file let's save this file and now we need to create a route for this update user component and to do that we will open app.js and here we need to duplicate this employee route and let's paste it here and for the path after slash employee we will mention slash colon id and the id is the variable here which we need to send and after this we need to update the element and here we will mention update user and that's it for the app.js let's save this file and now we need to open our dashboard.js file and here on the click of update button we need to redirect the user to our new update user page and to do that we need use navigate hook so let's go to the top and let's initialize that hook and we will write here constant and we will name this as navigate and after this we need to set use navigate from react router dom and after this to redirect the user we will write a new method and we will write the constant keyword here and we will name the method as handle update and in the params we need to accept the id and after this we will write arrow function and in the body of this method we will use navigate and here we need to give the url with the employee id so we will write the backticks and the url is slash employee and after slash we will use dollar and curly braces to pass the variable which is employee id and our handle update method is completed now we need to call this method so we will go to the html code and here we need to use on click event of our update button and we will write the arrow function and we will call handle update and after this in the params we need to pass the employee id which we can get by calling employee dot id and with this the code to redirect the user to update component is completed now we will save this file and we will run our application and as you can see our application is up without any errors now let's go to the browser and let's see if the redirection to the update component is working or not and as you can see on the dashboard we can see a table of the employees now let's click on this update button and as you can see we got redirected to the update user component and we can see the id of the employee in the url now let's go back to the react application and let's write the code to call the api and show a form here and here in the vs code let's open post user.js file and from here let's copy this form data use state and handle input change method and let's go to the update user.js file and let's paste them here and after this we need to import the use state from the react so we will write import statement and we will import use state from the react 
and after this we need to copy the html code from the postuser.js so let's open the file and let's go to the html section and let's copy this html after this let's come back to update user.js and here we will paste the copied html and after this we need to import the button and form so let's go to the top and let's write the import statement and we will import the button first and after this we need to import the form and we will mention form from react bootstrap and after this let's go to the html and here we need to replace the post new employee with edit employee and after this let's remove this on submit event and rest of the code will be the same where we have form group and form control to get the name and after this on the change we are calling handle input change method and after this we have input for the email for the phone number and for the department and for the button text we will update it to edit employee and after this we need to copy the css code as well so we will open postuser.css and here we will copy the code and we will paste it in update user.css now let's save this file and let's go back to update user.js and here we need to get the id from the params and to do that we will write a constant variable and we will name this as id and we will set the value by calling use param from react router dom and now as we have the id of the employee so we can call our backend api and to call the backend api we will use use effect and we will write arrow function and here we need to pass the id so inside this array we will mention the id and after this we need to import this use effect from the react so let's mention it here and now we can call our backend api and we will write a constant here and we will name this method as fetch employee and this will be an asynchronous function and after this we will write an arrow function and in the body we will write try catch block and in the try block we will create a constant variable and we will name this as response and we will mention await keyword and we will use fetch to call the api and after this we will mention backticks and we will write the basic url which is http localhost colon 8080 and after this we need to mention the api method url which is api slash employee and after slash we need to pass the employee id so we will use dollar and curly braces and we will pass id and after this we need to get the json from this response so we will create a constant variable and we will name this as data and here we need to use the await keyword and we will use response and we will call dot json method and now we need to set this data inside this form data so we will use set form data method and we will pass the data and in the cache block we will use console dot error and we will show error fetching user and then we need to pass the error dot message and after this we need to call this fetch employee method and we can do this here and with this our api call is completed now let's save this file and as you can see our application got compiled now let's go to the browser and let's validate the functionality of our api call and from the dashboard let's click on this update button and as you can see on the update employee page we got the form and after the api call we can see the data in the inputs as well now let's go to the post employee page and let's create another employee and after adding the details let's click on this post employee button and you can see the employee got created now let's click on the update button of employee 4 and you can see we got redirected again and we can see the details of the employee 4 in the form and that's it for this video in the next video we will create update employee api call in our spring boot application